best double evo combos in Clash Royale. Hey guys, in this video I will discuss the 3 most overpowered evo pairs in Clash Royale. To unlock both, you unfortunately have to beat Kane Tower level 15. Let's start off with Bomber Zap. Bomber Zap is effective as it is cheap and it can be used in conjunction with many popular decks. For example, Lava Loon. Snowball could be nice but Zap being on the same price and having Evo definitely makes it a good substitute. Bomber is a good cheap defense troop and Evo could be lethal as placing it right after your Lava Loon push is really hard to defend. Another combo this could be good for is Golden Night Witch. I think this pair just works really well if you like heavy ducks, since it's cheap and you can just cycle the evos while keeping the heavy stuff. It is preferable to have dagger duchess, as you probably won't have good defense as your main goal. As your main goal is to play some really slow decks. That combined with having a bomber and zap evolution won't really do much defensively, so I prefer dagger duchess if you can upgrade it. The next evo combo is... Um, I think it's really effective right now are archers and royal recruits. This combo is mainly defense, so it's best paired with an offensive card like um, a goblin giant or a balloon. You can just play defense by splitting the archers or royal recruits in the back and once the first minute timer comes up, you likely would have your, both your evos for archers and royal recruits and this is a deadly combo. Play both in the back plus your balloon or your goblin giant and it's one of the hardest pushes to defend. Decks like these, I just wait for my opponent to play their win condition, whether it's like a hog rider, a goblin giant, um, whatever. Then I defend it with royal recruits and push. Not only are royal recruits a positive elixir trade, you can just use it to support your push after you kill their win condition. Overall, it's just really overpowered and it's actually one of the easiest double evils to play. You don't really need a lot of skill and you just play defense with your royal recruits. Even if you don't have royal recruits to push, you still have your win condition, um, being the balloon or goblin giant. I usually like it with a rage spell, but you can rock it without it. And if you do have royal recruits, it basically aids your win condition and that's even better. Um, for this, um, I would consider just sticking with the Princess Tower. Finally, the Firecracker and Evil Skellies. Now some good decks to pair with this are chip damage decks. Um, you can cycle these two cards really easily, allowing you to play your Miner, Goblin Drill, Graveyard, you name it. Firecracker is great for defense, Evil Skellies as well, it's cheap and effective. However, having da Dagger Duchess is kind of really important. You, you have a really fast cycle deck and not much bulky defense, so that is my go-to. Plus, Skellies can pull troops right to the middle um, when you're defending, which is amazing for playing Dagger Duchess, as both towers lock onto the enemy target, and if both Dagger Duchesses lock in, it's basically over for them. Even something like a Prince can be countered by Skellies with the right placement. It's just going to obliterate on defense while being cheap, so you can just cycle your Goblin Jill or Miner even more. Really OP if you ask me. Overall, I think the meta right now is just shifting towards these cheap Evo decks with the exception of World Recruits. Because if you have like these cheap cards that on being Evo, you can just spend more Elixir on the good stuff like your Golems, your Night Witches, your Loons, Lava Hounds. And these Evo cards are good enough on defense, or if you have a bomber, it's really good on offense. And, and in conjunction with your win conditions, you can definitely make a push that's really hard to defend. Which is why um, I think almost every like top deck right now has bomber in it. Yeah guys, um, that's it for today. Of course, the meta is going to change as it always does with Clash Royale. Um, give, this video, give this video a like, and thanks for watching.